everyone, Lewis here and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This just in, I have a lot to explain. This week, Niantic has pretty much rolled back some of the temporary bonuses, so now you will be able to walk and hatch eggs at their normally, originally hatched distances. But the other bonuses, such as hour-long incense, increased distance to Pokestops and gyms, still remain in effect. As of this recording, we will not know when and will these other bonuses return completely back to the way they were originally. Also announced this week, at the end of this year, Pokemon Go will finally be able to connect to Pokemon Home, which means this also acts as an alternative to transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee versions on the Nintendo Switch. So that means you'll also be able to get a Meltan box this way. And, of course, to celebrate the launch of this new feature, Shiny Meltan will be returning, and you will be able to get a chance to try and catch Meltan in Pokemon Go and be able to transfer it to home and then to your Sword and Shield versions or the Let's Go games. Same thing with Pokemon that you caught in Pokemon Go. Once they are transferred, you cannot transfer them back to Pokemon Go, as this principle also applies when doing so with the Let's Go games. In other Pokemon news, October 17th is when we will get the second Charmander Community Day in the game. Plus, also, we are getting a new fall-themed event, which will announce the newest Pokemon from the Unova region to come to Pokemon Go, Deerling, which, of course, it and its evolution changes whenever there's a certain season, so the fall variation will be the first variation of this new species of Pokemon to make its debut into Pokemon Go. Also, starting this Monday, October 5th, until November 30th, you will be able to get free remote raid passes, which will allow you to participate in raids in any part of the world, not just locally, but also around the world. One more thing. My documentary about my trip to Dutch Springs, I have bad news. During the making of the fifth anniversary video, my beloved Akaso, or Akaso, got ruined after water flooded the camera's housing and got into the camera itself, which of course forced me to order a new one, which I was able to get a new one to replace it and I was able to recover the three clips I shot during my first dive up at Dutch Springs and the two pictures I shot. So this upcoming video of mine to celebrate this channel's 15th anniversary will likely be a short one as a result of me not being able to shoot enough footage underwater and the rest of the time I shot footage on land. That and the, and the trailer, the teaser trailer, will be coming soon. And of course, I can't wait to shoot the next episode of my Wizards Unite Play series, which will feature both September and October Community Days in two separate videos. Stay tuned for those as well, and along with the video about Charmander Community Day 2020. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure.
Also, during these times when going out, wear a mask. Whether it's indoors or outdoors, practice social distancing. Always wash your hands. Carry hand sanitizer with you if you're not able to use soap and water. And, of course, stay safe and stay healthy.